sunrise going on today. Happy Friday, November 19th. Already to God be the glory. I hope we are walking in the light, the beautiful light. Come where the dew drops of mercy shine bright. Shine all around us, Lord, by day and by night. Why? Because Jesus is the light of the world. Hey, this is the beginning of the weekend. I hope you're having a beautiful start of your day. God is worthy to be praised. We have another opportunity to experience life. We are in Proverbs, the second chapter. You know, this is the book of wisdom. I was writing in my journal. I said, at the end of the 31 days of this book, Lord willing, I want to be wiser, stronger. I want to have more light more direction, discernment, just be a better person all around. Well, this is the book where we can delve in and really hold the Bible as a mirror and look and see ourselves. And the word will show us our faults and where we need to measure up. Well, in verse 20, it says that thou mayest walk in the ways of good men and keep the paths of the righteous. So we wanna make sure that wherever we walk today, that we are pleasing the Lord, that we are in uprightness, that we're listening to the Lord's guidance and we're not going on our own. Because in verse 13, it says, when we follow foolishness and things that just do not please the Lord, verse 13, we leave the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness. No, we wanna walk in the light. We wanna stay in the beautiful light. And again, in verse 15, the paths are crooked and they're froward. They are departing from the perfect path that the Lord has set up for us. The path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. So we want to be able to just stay, just remain in the light and in the purpose that the Lord has prepared for us even before we were born. Because in today's day, you know, we would have gone to Psalms 139 and we remember that all of our days had already been planned out because we were, we were created in darkness, in, in a mysterious, under, you know, behind the scenes. But we were in our mother's womb and we were still seen by the Lord. It says in verse 12, yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. For thou possess my reins. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee for we are fearfully and wonderfully made. And he has works that he wants us to do because he has done a great work within us. So we want to walk in the light. We want to be the light. We want to shine the light so that our heavenly father will be glorified and all will come to know him we don't want to keep this light to ourselves what's the purpose what's what's the reason for us to just keep uh-uh in matthew 5 16 let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven right because ye you and I are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hid. So let our light shine. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this beautiful Friday. Lord, we ask that your Holy Spirit will just come in us fresh and anew so that we can shine and illuminate like never before in this world of darkness. Father, there's such a need for such a time as this, and we want to be an assignment for you have planned for us to do so. So have your way in our lives and we'll glorify you in absolutely every way. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.